What's up, everybody? Tim Fulton Wine and Spirits coming to you on another edition of Tastings with Tim. The star of today's show is Kim Crawford Savion Blanc. I'm going to keep today's uh, episode a bit brief as I am a bit under the weather. Well, thanks everybody for joining me. Kim Crawford, New Zealand Savion Blanc. Kim Crawford is actually a dude, even though, uh, you know, Kim Crawford, everyone associates with, I love her, I love her wine, but uh, Kim Crawford, actually a guy. Um, and makes terrific Sauvignon Blanc. We also have Kim Crawford um, Rosé that is seasonally available. Also very good. A lot of people um, think, oh, Rosé, I want a nice French Rosé. I want a nice California Rosé, New Zealand. Up and coming in the world of Rosé production. So keep that in mind. I got this bottle all nice and chilled down. This is what it looks like on sale um, for the uh, foreseeable future. Uh, $11.99 for your Kim Crawford Sauvignon Blanc. I'm going to pour up a little bit right here in my nifty glass and let you guys know what I think. Time at the tone is 11.43. So we're going to have a little bit of lunch with Mr. Kim Crawford and his world famous Sauvignon Blanc. It smells very grapefruity. Um, New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs are well known for their bouquet and bursting flavor of grapefruit and at first scent this appears to be no exception so uh, heavy on the grapefruit on the smell yeah very 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 much so oh man so very heavy on the grapefruit very very good clean crisp refreshing I had it chilled down to about 43 degrees, which I believe will be optimal temperature for your uh, Kim Crawford New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. Even um, essence of some fresh cut grass in there. I know that all, I don't live in a place where I cut my grass, unfortunately. But even just this morning, I was out walking the dog and they were cutting the grass. Ooh, and it just makes you feel a certain way. And you even get that essence here, along with the accompanied with the grapefruit, you get that. You get some of that fresh cut grass in there. Um, even a little bit of melon. It's really a fantastic example of Sauvignon Blanc. Um, and I think it's something that you would very, very much enjoy. Would go good with a summer salad, some seafood, if you're gonna toss some salmon or some tilapia on your grill, something like that. I think it would go very, very well with that. Um, I don't recommend it necessarily for cooking unless you're going to want some of this flavor within your cooking. Now, if you were cooking fish or something like that with it, by all means, I usually re uh, recommend something a little bit more neutral as far as cooking, like a Pinot Grigio or Chardonnay, something like that. Whereas this has a very robust and um, unique flavor that stands out. So if you were thinking about cooking with it, make sure that you want that grapefruit and fresh cut grass flavor. Um, with your cooking, you want that to accompany the dish that you are cooking. Um, so if you were gonna have like some lime or something like that infused uh, uh, you know whatever it is chicken um, tilapia salmon did I already mention those two um, catfish whatever whatever you reeling in on the boat uh, this year by all means um, have that go on um, so yeah very good I highly recommend this um, there will probably some be some stuff on this show that I won't highly recommend but it will still be available for tasting this will be available for tasting um, until the bottle is gone, certainly through the weekend. Um, and we'll be doing it here at Food and Wine Spirits. Everybody take care. Thanks for joining me on another edition of Tastings with Tim. I'll see you guys either next Tuesday or next Thursday. We might have a special um, 4th of July edition next Tuesday. So stay tuned for that. Thanks, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Till next time.